I think that uh, the Yas Marina circuit is quite unique in that it's a purpose-built circuit. It's also a purpose-built venue. So it's got a marina, obviously it's called a marina. Uh, it's surrounded by fantastic hotels. Uh, it comes alive when the Grand Prix is on with the light shows and the, uh, the people who are there. It's got restaurants. Uh, there's a fantastic vibe at the circuit. And also it's in a part of Abu Dhabi, which is also supported by lots of other activities. So um, there's plenty to do in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it's a great place for a holiday and it's a great place to go for Grand Prix. One of the obviously appealing things about Abu Dhabi for a Northern European is that it's uh, warm. You can guarantee it's going to be nice and warm during the day. Uh, and in the evening, uh, as the sun goes down, which is when they have the race, uh, you get this fantastic sunset and a fantastic warm evening. So uh, very enjoyable from that point of view. Uh, so we're trying to employ virtual experience of the grandstand here so that people can uh, get some feel of what it might be like to be there before they commit to going there. So that's a very useful example of how virtual experiences, I think, will become the norm. They'll be become part of our lives. And of course, in, in our sport, uh, there's been a, a massive in employment of virtual uh, driving or at least simulators so that drivers can uh, prepare themselves for circuits they go to. So they don't turn up anymore and have to learn the track, they actually learn in the simulator. And so I think it shows the potential of virtual environments. I don't think they'll ever replace the visceral experience, the real experience of, of being there and having your hands on something, you know, and, and going around the track in a real car. Um, but uh, they can certainly supplement and, and teach us a lot and be used as a tool um, for preparing us. Hey.